Just one case of domestic violence tonight, both involving parents hurting children. Reporters cover stories about domestic violence every day. And I just prayed that if he didn't find me, if I could just live through the night, that I would get my kids out of here because I knew that what was going to happen was that he was going to kill me. Police and lawyers, doctors and nurses, social workers and counselors see the problem as America's hidden public health epidemic. I love this guy and I promise to be his wife and to honor him and respect him and cherish him. And this is what he did to me. The victims of the epidemic hide in plain sight. We have a lot of patients and a lot of women who are in these relationships who do not want to tell that they're being abused because they're afraid that they have nowhere to go. It's really important to ask her, are you being hurt? Are you afraid to go back home? It's real, it's visible, um, statistics are, are, are not lying here. Imagine living in fear in your own home. Three women in America are murdered every day by intimate partners. More than four million women are victims of physical abuse every year. He came in to the room, said, you're not sleeping with me, you're sleeping with somebody else. I put the hand down, started mo moving into the ground, put a gun into the mouth. This violence is a way of obtaining power and control. I think that there's still in American society the view that what occurs behind closed doors remains behind closed doors. Violence against women has historical and cultural roots. Something within myself just made me just want to fight, you know, continue to live. I just had to. In Portrait of Abuse, we meet survivors such as Glenda, an artist, Beth, a mother of two grown sons, Meredith, who was director of a division of a Fortune 500 company, Shirley, a mother and business owner, Maria, who lives with her four children in a shelter hiding from an abusive spouse. If you think that of four women you know and realize that one out of every four women is being abused, it's appalling. They tell intimate stories about despair and pain, survival and hope. It's okay to be confused, it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be scared, but most importantly, you're still alive to feel that way.